Hi, Judd here. Now, it stopped raining, and the wood has all dried out from the welcome, beloved, beautiful rain. We got three inches over the weekend. Just fantastic. We needed it. We need more. Keep it coming. We're going to put on the Minwax High Performance Wood Hardener. Now, I read the directions, and it says don't drink this. <laughs> it also says don't touch it. Don't get it in your eyes. If you're in California, you can't use it. It says to put on multiple coats in rapid succession until you get a shiny surface after you've removed all the loose or rotted wood. Uh, so it can repair the rotted wood, which, you know, I mean, if you re remove all the rotted wood, how are you repairing the rotted wood? You know what I mean? I wish I had a smaller disposable brush, but all I've got is my two-incher here. A one-inch would be good to get into some of these tight areas I've got. But we'll do what we can. I'm going to put it in a bowl and then proceed. So it's not very exciting, but it's a step in the process. Oh, it also says shake very well. And now we'll turn around. This is going to be tricky because parts of this are going to do upside down. It's sticking to the gloves and my fingers and the brush and everything. Uh, I'm going to get some safety glasses on. Should have done that in the first place. Wear your safety glasses in case the brush flicks any bits. You get this in your eyes and you're in big trouble. Okay, we're going to do another coat here. Okay, I'm getting a nice shiny appearance. Uh, and then it says to give you uh, two to four hours before you fill it. Uh, it's 3.15 now. I don't know that I'll be back out here today, but if not, you know, this will go on the next video when I fill it.
Just as a quick aside, none of these things seem to be doing well up front in the direct sun, so I have moved them all back under here, under my palm tree, and just watered them, and I hope they'll survive a little better here. These things I'm really concerned about, those were the recovery of the mango tree, and those had been doing good, and now they're doing bad, so I'm hoping they'll come back. And up here in the north garden, I've done a bit of weeding in there. Now, I didn't do a deep dive, but things are looking a lot better in here. And I just planted the fern potatoes along the edge there. I don't know what I was supposed to do with them. I just buried them both. Oh, here's a tidbit for you. Yesterday I bought a pressure-treated 8-foot 2x4 at Lowe's, or Home Depot. I also wanted to get some 1x4 southern yellow pine. Couldn't find any. Everything I found looked like crap. All the wood. But anyways, that single 8-foot pressure-treated 2x4 was $10. Hi, Judd here, and we're going to continue the porch work. Not sure how far I'm going to get, never am. What I'm going to start with today is to remove this board so that I can fully access the parts on it that need to be patched and make sure I've got all the rot ground out of it. That's all pretty good. Yeah, so I can just uh, fill this now with the new stuff. Under here, this sounded a little shaky, but these are actually two thin strips of wood I put because for some reason this 2x4 came out lower than this one, so I had to shim it up. So this is kind of punky in here. Actually, that's kind of crappy in there. I can put my fingernail on it. So I'm going to take some of this out of here. And this 2x4, I got that pretty good too. Taking this board off makes filling these areas and the board itself much easier. We'll clean that up and then we'll proceed with the filling. See, that's all this was. A very thin piece of plywood. And the top of this is quite solid. So no rod in there to worry about. Oh. Oh. There we go. Get that in place too. Okay, we've got a couple of little nails sticking up here I'll have to put down, and then I'll have to replace that shim sort of thing. I just happen to have this shim or thin piece of wood I cut a long time ago for another project that fits there very nicely. So we're just going to stick a little bit of that in there. Bond, waterproof, interior, exterior. Mm -hmm. Okay, so time to make the donuts.